I lift my head and wake to my new hell, yet again. Each time I pass out, I wake hoping it's all a nightmare. The light above me flickers, and the harshness of it burns my eyes, causing me to squint through swollen flesh to see if I'm alone. I am. That's one small relief. The dripping of water from the leaking pipes above me is another torture all of its own. I try to stretch, but the restraints holding me in the chair make it almost impossible. The sores on my wrists and ankles crack open as I move them again, my skin tearing from where it's knitted to the leather straps during my sleep. Fresh blood surfaces. I refuse to give in. They will not break me. I have no idea what they want from me, but I won't let them win. Exhaustion washes over me. I've been here since Cole made his announcement that he's my father. I'm still not sure how I feel about it, or even if I should believe it. I have no idea what he would gain from lying to me about it. And he's done nothing yet to prove I can trust one word that comes out of his mouth. Since my arrival here, I've been almost constantly in this wretched chair. And I've not seen Cole again. Not that I really expect to. If he is my father, he's proven before that he is good at leaving. My time here has been spent being tortured. I've been punched, stabbed, slashed, and electrocuted by the demons keeping me here. I've lost track of time. There are no windows. No way of telling if it's night or day. I've done nothing but fight to stay alive. To stay me. Desperation claws at my thoughts. Will I survive them next time? Will I ever get out of here? I hear footsteps coming down the hall and try to squash the feeling of fear that rises from my stomach. Even if I'm dying inside, I'll be damned if I let them see it. Then I hear Micah's laugh, that same sadistic laugh I've heard almost every day as he tears or burns my skin. The sound makes me sick to my stomach. Each time I hear it, my hope plummets further into the abyss.